what if we can distribute the power of influence to tens of thousands of people? And that's what Quirky is. It's individuals having a little piece of something huge. For a while now, Mad Money's been introducing home gamers to the hottest private players, companies that are changing the game, helping illuminate major market themes on our Off the Tape series. We brought you to Fitbit, which just announced plans to go public, Dropbox, Hampton Creek, hey, there's an egg shortage, Warby Parker, Postmates, and more. In the last 60 days alone, on-demand leader Postmates, which brings anything to your door in under an hour, has struck major deals with Starbucks, Chipotle, and just last week, McDonald's, featuring them in their turnaround plan. Our mission to bring you the best and brightest private companies continues today with the launch of CNBC's third annual Disruptor 50 list for 2015. This list highlights the 50 most innovative and revolutionary startups out there, making its third straight appearance in CNBC's Disruptor 50 is Quirky, which moved up from 18 to 15. Now, this company got its start as a platform where ordinary people could submit their own ideas, and Quirky would then take the best of these inventions from the idea stage all the way to the shelves of retailers around the world, of course, including Amazon. Originally, Quirky was about facilitating all kinds of innovation. Within the last year, the company has narrowed its focus, specializing in developing electronics and products for the connected home. Meanwhile, they've also started to partner up with more companies like GE, Harm, and Mattel in order to become more efficiently, well, let's just say, gen Quirky-generated inventions to market in a lot of the companies we, you know, we talk about those companies all the time. To give you an example, Quirky is launching its own line of smart appliances under the Poppy brand. You can go look at the video, including coffee makers, pet feeders, and baby formula machine. Don't mean to obscure that one. All of which have smart sensors that know when they need to be refilled. In fact, these products can automatically connect to Amazon in order to reorder your preferred brands without you lifting a finger. I think this could be the future of the Internet of Things. Let's take a closer look. This is a fun one, guys. Ben Kaufman, the founder and CEO of Quirky, learn more about his revolutionary company. Mr. Kaufman, welcome to Mad Money. Hey, thanks. Good to see you, Ben. Have a seat. See you. Now, I have to tell you, I mean, a lot of times, a lot of CEOs come out. This one is fun because you are about actually having a conversation and having fun and, and having everybody win. Do you think that is a fair way to look at it? Well, we get 4,000 ideas a week. We only make three or four. So, unfortunately, not everyone wins, but we try to make invention as accessible as possible. Now, you have taken a course, uh, and anyone can go to the website. You can see all the really cool things. You really kind of narrowed it down. To an area, by the way, that I'm always worried that Jardin's involved in, that GE's involved in, a competitive area in the store shelves, which is these household uh, household appliances, basically. But you seem to be breaking the mold. I haven't seen this one, for instance, in any store. Yeah, well, that one we just announced. So the whole Poppy line, which is the coffee maker, the infant right. formula machine, the pet food thing, we did that in conjunction with Amazon through their Dash Replenishment service. Right. So when you're low on a consumable, Amazon automatically sends you to your house more pet food, more baby formula, more coffee. Um, so this is, a, this is a new line I'll launch later this year. But, you know, what's really fun about Quirky is we take in these ideas from all around the country. For example, this idea came from a, a, an inventor in Wisconsin in high school named Jake Zion. He said he couldn't fit all of his power bricks right. in his power strip. Uh, submitted it to the site. Now uh, it's a it's a great product. We've sold millions of units. And he's made some money off it. Too. He's made uh, close to a million dollars, uh, just over a million dollars. Uh, now GE is co-branding the product in the connected home, so you can actually turn on and off each outlet in the app with the Wink app. All right, I want to go over what the world was like before Quirky and after. I'd always felt that like, you know people either either run out of money or they try to get them something on QVC or it breaks down or they can't afford a 3D printer. You come along and basically say, listen, we will shepherd this. Yeah. Now of course you, you take your toll. But you will shepherd it. Before, what happened? Before, you know, people spend their life savings on their invention. That's how I got started. My parents' second mortgage is their house. I, you know, I flew to China, figured out I didn't know how to make a product. Uh, the best ideas in the world aren't actually in the world. They're locked in people's heads, and we, we want to unlock them. So how do you connect? I mean, you have a million people who have heard about this, right? A million people that are active community members active. on our site. So what do they do? I mean, because like, people at home are probably saying, you know, look, there's a, there's a lot of people watching right now. They're thinking, I want to be in this quirky. What happens if I sign up tonight? So you submit your idea, and then the world votes. So people vote and comment on each other's ideas. And then every week on Thursday night, we basically debate each other on what the best well, idea is. Why aren't we, like, have cameras at your place on Thursday night? Why I think that would be it? a phenomenal idea. I mean, you know I want to come down. Can, uh, come on down. I don't, we I, can put you on the panel. Really? It would be great. Because I have, like, but really But you have to be opinionated to be on the panel. 
No, no, man, I'm right, Casper Milktoast. I won't help you at all. Um, but it, honestly, I mean, to me, this is like the great American story because there are people, you even have a situation where someone had a patent, you know, someone had another idea, and you look back and you saw that they actually, someone else had had that idea, and you protected that original guy's idea. We did. We, we take these inventions seriously, and we want to protect our inventors. You know, most Americans think, you know, when you have an idea, you need a patent. Right. Uh, and that's not always true. What you really need is a great product, and you need to get it to market. Market quickly, and some products are patentable, some products aren't, and just because of something isn't patentable doesn't mean it's not a good idea. No, when I went to Amazon, you 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 did have some products that were like at a like a buck and a half. It doesn't seem to be the emphasis <laughs> anymore, right? We like did. The I mean, we, thingy. Yeah, we started out very small. I mean, we started in my apartment in the East Village. We were making small things: citrus spritzers, cord clips. That was all we could do at the time. Right. And then as we grew and as we brought on partners like GE and Harman and Mattel, that's given us a larger platform. But how, are, aren't you going to change? I mean, you did this Polywell, did Beth Comstock. GE, you know, it's my peaks. <laughs> You don't think that they can make it so that, like, they take it the way they corporate America does? You are not exactly a traditional corporate American. I am not a, exactly a traditional corporate but do you American. Think, do you think they'll come and because they recognize the greatness of what you're trying to Listen, do? Listen, there's two things that every big company we partner with wants. Number one is they want speed, right. right? It's hard to build an innovative new product in a large company. Number two is they want fresh ideas, and we get 4,000 fresh ideas every week. Right, they don't really have that ability, right? No, they most really companies, don't. if you send, uh, you know, uh, if you send Apple a product idea, they will send the envelope right back to you. Right. Uh, they don't want the liability of, you know, knowing that somebody well, came I, in. And... I, have to, I think this is great. Nice. I mean, we all have had ideas, and you know what? We always kind of felt like, I wish I could do it. No, you're doing it for people. I think it's right fantastic. On. That's Ben Coffin, founder and CEO of Quirky, number 15 on CBC's Disruptor 50 list. And when you see it next time, I'm going to be a judge Thursday night. I don't do anything you Thursday are. nights. You are. I'm going to hold you there. I'm going to do it. Right. Man, money's back into the break. Oh, Great to see you. you. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs. Plus, market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.